everyone, this vlog is going to be for a couple things, as you probably see in the title. I'm going to be trying some Norwegian candy because somebody sent me a whole bunch of Norwegian candy. And if I remember correctly, they do have an explanation of the candy somewhere, unless it's... Oh, there it is. Good. So we're going to be trying some Norwegian candy, but before I do that, I want to tell you guys that we're going to be having a charity live stream. I haven't exactly decided on the day yet, but it's going to be next week. Um, let's go with the 24th. The 24th of March, so that's going to be a Thursday, and the reason I can do it at that time is because it is spring break! Yay! But we're going to be doing the charity stream this month for the UN Human something refugees. Human Committee on Refugees, I think. UNHCR. <laughs> that's what we're going to be doing the charity stream for. I haven't decided exactly what the theme or the game is going to be, but it's going to be on or around the 24th. If the date changes at all, I will have it on Twitter and I'll probably post a little video the day before. So, y'all should come check that out, and without any further ado, I've got five candies and an explanation thing. So here's some candy from Norway. Explanation of the candy. So we'll just go down the list and I'll try them each in turn. So first off we have this one. It's called... Kuvik <laughs> Lulsic? I, I can't pronounce that. I am American. We speak only one language. Bad English. We don't even speak good English. Just bad English. Um, Hele Nor Norges? Torskolare? I don't, I don't know. Uh, just looking at this and looking at the other packages, I think, uh, the S-J-O scolare or whatever it is, I think that means chocolate, because I think most of these are chocolate, and I see that word on most of them. So I'm going to assume that means chocolate. But anyway, it's got a nice little flag there, or flag these colors here, and it's got, like, oh my god, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay then, we got two of these. Let's try one of them. Yeah, if I can get the packaging open. <laughs> Come on, Scarlet. Oh, hey, it's got a nice little, like, help flap here. He's got, like, you don't get that in American candy. You have to just tear into it. Oh, hey, it's a Kit Kat bar. No, seriously, it's a Kit Kat bar. Gotta get a nice crunch there in the microphone. It's a Kit Kat bar. <laughs> Better chocolate than a Kit Kat bar. I like it. It's a good one. Thumbs up. Next, we have something that just says mini egg. Doesn't have any fancy, fancy non murkin explanation stuff on it. It just says mini egg. It's like an Easter candy or something. A bag of mini eggs for Easter, that's what the uh, letter says. I like the chocolate on the inside, it's... You mm, can't really see it in the webcam, but it's pretty, it's pretty good looking, smooth, good quality chocolate. Not as much a fan of the coating, though. I'm gonna want them up. And then next is more chocolate. I know what this is. It's a chocolate orange. I don't know what a pelsen means. I'm going to assume that means orange. You people from Norway can, um, <coughs> correct me. <laughs> For my inevitable wrongness. So, for anybody, for no, for, 
For those who have not eaten a chocolate orange before, you know how you do it. You might want to cover your um, headphones now if you're just... That's how you do it. Bang it against things and that breaks the orange up so you can eat the orange. You abuse it. That's, that's how you eat these things. You abuse them. You abuse them and then you consume their very essence. Because you're evil. Oh, these smell so much more orangey than the ones we get in the U.S. They taste about the same, though. Which means they're good. So this one gets two thumbs up. By the way, this was my dad's... Well, not this kind, obviously, but, um... Chocolate oranges were one of my dad's favorite candies. He got tons of them all the time. Now I've got something that says, um, Kolm Kyra? I'm pronouncing these horribly, I do not apologize. Milke, Milke, Chocolat? So Milke Chocolat, does that mean milk chocolate? I'm gonna assume that means milk chocolate. <laughs> Cause I'm American. It lights like Nord. I am pronouncing these so badly, I still do not apologize. It is a solid bar of chocolate. This is a solid bar of chocolate. Uh, um... It's a solid bar of chocolate. This thing is huge! It's good! It's much more milk chocolatey than you get in the U.S. Well, with chocolate bars at least. But you can always tell if chocolate is um, really good quality or not. When you look at it after you take a bite. It just looks like velvety and silky. But that's good. This, these are all chocolate. They're all good. I'm not, I'm not getting any, like... Bad candies here. Y'all have good candy in Norway. Somebody should send me snacks that are not chocolate, like, I don't know. Um, like, things that would make me put, but, okay. So this is something called Leban Stiegman. And they're little gummy people. They're little gummy people. They're little gummy people. <laughs> and he's doing the splits. <laughs> you know what I say to his splits? I don't No head for him. <laughs> They're not sour. I thought they'd be sour. They kind of remind me of those Japanese lychee candies that you can get in the U.S. Is like gummy candy? The round ones? I like them! They're alright! Th these are alright. These are alright. So those are all the candies that I got in the P.O. box from somebody in Norway. They're from Scary Player Norway, as I keep calling him Normandy in the Twitch chat. So that's gonna be it for the vlog for this week, guys. I, my name is Miss Girl Tinger, and I am, I am playing. I'm not playing anything right now. What am I talking about? And I will see you all in the next video.